hey guys so uh you guys just finished dancing for the top five boy bands of all time how was it that was awesome can you tell i am speechless ever again was it a workout <laughs> incredible workout but you know how i think really you might fun. get a better workout Relaxing, laughing at our oh. video <laughs> i'm thinking seriously let's go paloxing yeah. yeah you guys it's gonna be really that? funny Thank you. Thank guys you. If you think you've seen behind the scenes, that is behind the scenes. Exactly. I don't know, the dance thing that we just shot though pretty much was the high point of my entire life. That was I'm not awesome. gonna lie. Oh um, my goodness. Yeah, you guys, you're gonna see the Jonas Brothers in studio performing, so make sure you check out that video. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> don't get mad, don't get mad. It's not exactly what you think. It might be a little different. It's a little different. Let's just say that. Oh my gosh. I wonder if the Jonas Brothers have ever seen one of our videos. What do you think? Yeah, I wonder. I feel like they're hip to the internet. Yeah. They're hip to Clever TV, right? Maybe Miley is. She checks everything out every day, supposedly. Hey, uh, speaking of the Jonas Brothers, uh, looks like we finally have a winner for our Let's Find Joe a Rebound Girl. Yes. Really? Who is the winner? Yes. Are we going to give it away? Brenda Song. Is she, really? Are they a real couple, though? Yeah, what's going on No, <laughs> they basically just went out to dinner, and now everybody's... Yeah, but, I mean, they were spotted, <laughs> like, she got in his car, they left separately, but she got in his car down the block, so... Here's what they I wonder. carpooled. That's I, where the story is, they carpooled. They're trying to save gas. Do you think she actually yeah. really likes him? You know how, like, if you like some guy and he has a girlfriend, and then he, like, breaks up with her? You don't like oh, him anymore? this never happened to me personally, but... Then you don't like him anymore? No, maybe, like, you like him and he wants to hang out with you to, like, talk about how, like, sad he is, uh, but really he doesn't like you, but you like him. Yeah, because I think she tweeted or she was quoted something. Brenda she, she, was? Yeah, Brenda. She said something about, like, a, it was how... Something about their friendship. So she did say the words fringe or the word fringe. Has she ever had a boyfriend that we know about? I don't know. I feel like she's pretty, like, decently under the radar, you know? I don't know if she wants to be or... Yeah, it might be that she just chooses to not, like... Go a, party and whatever. Yeah, be, be, <laughs> be stalked by everyone. Yeah, exactly. She's really cute, though. She is. She's I really, really cute. think she's adorable. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm still waiting to see him with Ashley Green. I'm uh, waiting for that. Well, too bad she is in Vancouver right now shooting Eclipse. Oh, so that's right. It will have to be a long distance. Have Chris rebound. Stewart, did you know if Kristen Stewart or Robert Pattinson have gone up there yet? Um, I guess Robert flew from New York because he's shooting. Right. I think Remember today me. or he yesterday he just flew there. out. Yeah. But I haven't heard about Kristen Stewart, where she's flown from, but, like, she the rest knows. of the crew, you know, a bunch of the vampires were seen. She was fitted for a wig at LAX. Yesterday, though. Oh. Because, you know, she has that wild hairdo going. The flip. The Joan Jett look. The flip. And so she will, in fact, have to wear a wig. Oh, I, I'm being really nice. I called it a flip, but it's actually a mullet. It is. It is. But she's playing a character yeah. that, you know. She's dedicated to the role. To the craft, baby. I'm surprised they're having her wear a wig, like... You know, a bunch of you guys have emailed me or messaged me about this, like, wondering, oh, is she going to wear a wig or what? Yeah. And I for sure thought, oh, they'll dye her hair to the color and Into they'll give extensions. Because a wig, I mean, it's you hot. be careful. It's hot and it might look really fake and Or phony. fall off or something, like, all the time. Who knows? Yeah. So, interesting. But I'm sure they have, like, the best wig maker on the planet right. doing her wig, so... And really good wigs are really expensive. They are, in the thousands. But I'm sure they're not pulling any stops for the production of all these Twilight movies. No, and Bryce Dallas Howard was seen also. And did you know she's Ron Howard's daughter? I don't know if you guys know who that really? is. Really? Yeah, Ron Howard. I had no clue. The super famous director. He was on Happy Days. Her her godfather is the Fonz. Really? Yeah. And she's wow. married to, she's 28. She went to school, like, college in New York. And she's married to another actor who was in Dirty Sexy Money. And they have a kid. So she's a mom. Isn't that kind of crazy? Wow. I wonder how the cast will like meld with her since she's at a different place in her life. But I guess Peter Facinelli is too. You yeah. Know, he has a family and a wife and kids True. and stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Something to think about. Something to think about. Um, 
I also think it's interesting that everyone's so mad at her that she's, you know, taking the role of Victoria over, but it's not her fault. It's not her fault. I mean... And she's a great actress. And I don't... I mean, it's not necessarily Summit's fault either. It's just... I mean... It happened. Rochelle, her management company, booked another job and, like, thought that they would change the schedule. And, like, this is a big production. There's a lot of money, and it's very difficult to just up and change a, a shooting schedule. So, I mean, it costs a lot of money. It takes time. So Yeah, it's just unfortunate. I don't think it's unf- I don't think it's really fair to be blaming this poor girl who just got a role. She's probably so excited. I know. Well, you know, the rumor supposedly is that she took less money on purpose just to get the role. So Well, that makes sense. I mean, who wouldn't? Wouldn't you guys take a Take a, pay, take a cut pay cut to be Victoria to be in the biggest film franchise probably ever. Yeah, I mean, the most this is gonna making. be this is gonna be such a memorable, memorable film series like for years Forever. to come. Yeah, and to be a part of it would be amazing. So I'm sure there's a lot of actors that rumor could totally would, be true. I'm sure there's a lot of actors who would probably be doing it for free if they got offered the part. I mean, think about the yeah. exposure, the offers, the notoriety. You I know, agree. That just come as a result of this. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. But I think she's a great actress. I think people should give her a chance. Because what's done is done. Right. I mean, so get used to it. We can't change it now. But I do agree. Like, it is really annoying when you're watching a sequel to a movie and the person that you've come to know as a character is not there anymore and it's a totally different Mm -hmm. person. It takes a little adjusting, but obviously there's a good reason behind it. So what can we do? I know. It's going to be really interesting to see. Yeah, it will be. We still have to see New Moon. What are we talking about? Oh my gosh, right? And that's another weird thing. Think about this, um, which I think we talked about in a segment already. So, Rochelle is still going to have to do publicity for New Moon. Right, right. How weird is that going to be? I mean, can she get out of it? Or. I bet you she can. It's probably part of her contract. All that stuff is in the contract. How many have to go around, do X amount of interviews, X amount of photo shoots? Like, it's all scheduled. She's also selling a bunch of stuff online for charity, like a bunch of Twilight memorabilia that's been signed. Oh, all for charity, so that's her. awesome. You, you know? go, girl. I know. Sorry I it didn't all work out. Sad. But I know. Sorry. Right. Hey, it's so what do you guys uh, think of our next fashion face-off? Vanessa Hudgens and Miranda Cosgrove. Oh. I think that's really tough. Yeah. I mean... Who can hold a candle to Vanessa Hudgens that you can think of in her age bracket? A candle maker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Only a candle maker. Um, yeah. She's but you guys, amazing. these are ran- these are random setups, so it's like. It's so do you guys think it's a bad matchup, unlucky matchup for Miranda? It Probably. Is. Yeah, I think so. It's kind of unlucky for Miranda. But it, again, you guys, it's not about like their talent or what how they are as a person. Like, we love you, Miranda. We love you, yeah, Vanessa. We, do. we love all you girls. But you know, it's about it's fashion, fashion, and you know, some people we, are just more into it than others. So yeah. not a big deal. And we have to crown a winner. Or maybe some of them have more money to get the top stylist. Yeah. <laughs> Highly possible. Yeah, because Vanessa is, you know kind of like an eye fashion icon in the making or for her generation at least. I'm sure everybody's mm-hmm. dying to dress her. Yeah. All the designers. I'm sure. Because you throw something on her and every girl sees it and wants it. Mm-hmm. Every girl and every woman too. Exactly. Because she also goes to all, all the upscale like Premiers, humongous events. The Oscars. Oscars and Golden Globes. Those are like that's, Grown up events. that's what people, actors, when they're starting to make it, like that's their dream to be able to go to these big Hollywood premieres mm-hmm. and parties and award shows, really. Yeah, and so she's doing it already. So she's def- I mean, she's in the spotlight, obviously, way more than Miranda. Yeah, way more. So, like in a year from now, it might be a totally different matchup. Exactly. We'll just have to wait and see. A couple years ago, who knew who Robert Pattinson was, really? I mean, yeah, Harry yeah. Potter, but really? Was he a global celebrity? Nowhere near Not at who all. he is today. No. So no things way. change and happen so fast. Mm-hmm. We'll have to see. Wait and see, people. Hey, so uh, have you guys been having fun making your home webcam videos? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's really fun, actually. But I wish I had, like, backdrops or something. I know. Like, can we get some Twilight posters? 
I actually had something funny happen to me while I was shooting one. What? Um, and you guys may see if you can figure out which video this is. But um, I shoot, and my window is right here so that all the light comes in on my face. And there's a fence between my neighbor's house. And as I'm shooting it, this little head starts to pop up over the fence. And I guess that my neighbors have been hearing me, like, basically talk to myself <laughs> for hours and hours. And they think I'm some sort of lunatic. So they wanted to just, like, pop their head over this, like, 20-year-old kid that look. lives next door to me. Take a peek. He's like, excuse me, hi, what are you doing? And I'm, like, still talking. I'm like, hey, clever fans, blah, blah, blah. And, like, the camera's right there. And he was just like, whoa, she is crazy. But I explained it to him. He still thinks I'm crazy. Yeah. That, I mean, I've shot, like, outside in my neighborhood, and people are running by. This one guy got out of his car and, like, stopped and started walking up towards me. And I'm going like this. I'm like, get like, away from get me. Get away, like, off camera. You know, I'm, like, up to here. And, um, yeah. I people people, people are so curious. Doing. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So, But it's fun to be able to do stuff, like, instantaneously. Mm -hmm. Like bre breaking news at any time of day. Right. And I took my little camera with me on a trip to Solvang, which was really oh. fun. I had Anderson's pea soup, which is like... That place is good. It was so good. And I documented it on the camera. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll edit a little piece and you put it out for everyone. You should ask them about your trip to Peru. If anyone... Yeah. You guys, I'm going to be in Peru in two weeks. And if any of you guys live out there, like, it'd be really cool to get some shout-outs from Twilight fans out there in South America. So if you're a Twilight you are If you are a Twilighter and you're in Peru, I'll be in Lima and Cusco. So let me know. Yeah, send us a message. You yeah. can set up a little meet and greet in South America. And you guys, don't forget, Jocelyn and I both have our own personal YouTube pages now. Clever TV Jocelyn and Clever TV Dana. So make sure you go check out our videos, subscribe. Even suggest. Give us five stars. Yeah, you guys can even tell us what you want <laughs> us to talk about or not talk about. I've gotten a lot of actually really great tips. People who have like inside scoop for whatever reason mm -hmm. will send me information. So if you guys have a tip or an idea for a great Let story, us know. we would love and we'll mention you. We want all of our sites clever, clever TV, Justin and clever TV, Dana, and clever, clever movies. TV, and clever movies. We want you guys to subscribe to all four. Show all us how dedicated four. you are, people. Email your friends and yeah. tell them to come check out our videos. Why not? Why not? All right, guys. Well, that's a wrap. Bye, Bye you guys. guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stuffing in today.